Yeah, man. So great to be popping off Joy World, man, with the tribe, with the Shabbata. Hey, hop to all the cons, man, the real knockers, the real steppers, man, stepping in, you know what I mean, into a high, high altitude, man. <laughs> stepping into a high vibration, shoulder to shoulder, brick by brick. Hey, hop to the 500 code keeping knockers, man, allowing us to See this vision, this dream manifest for Joy World. Just to know that we can build our land, build a fence on an entire acre of land. I mean, a wooded fence on an acre of land. Oh, man, that's that's preposterous, man. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Drop. Everybody we talk to is like, you build it a you're going to fence an entire acre of property, like, in a wooded fence now? Nigga, you crazy. Nah, nigga, you crazy. <laughs> or maybe uh, we see a blue, purple, red fence. <laughs> blue, purple, red, white, linen, gold thread. All beautiful cedar wood. Hey, shout out. Special shout out, man, to my aquas. You know what I'm saying? My aquas. Hey, where would we be without you? Hey, ha. Aqua Abia. Aqua Charmaine. Aqua Thai Bad Son. Hey, Aqua Chef Condi, man. Making sure, you know, we got a great, healthy, energetic food, man, for the cons, man. As the cons pop off, building this fence for the Naga. We've been able to get Nagas out. You know, 
boots to the ground right away. Oh man, just get the equipment we needed, man, and the expertise we needed, man, and just pop it off, man. Just pop it off, man. It's so amazing to see it happen in real time. We say it's all happening, but when you really witness it all happening, man, when you witness it all happening, there is nothing like that frequency. Hey, hey, hi, man. I, I appreciate keeping the code with you. You know, looking at this fence go up, knowing <laughs> how beautiful it is and, you know, uh, what's to come, like. It fills us with maximum Ahab, Alawa. A max Ahab as well to my to my ox, man, that we're able to put boots to the ground right away, man. My ox Dizzle, man, you know, lining it up for the tribe, man. You know what I'm saying? Ox J Law lining it up for the tribe, man, you know. My ox went out to Joy World, man, and just started making sure the fence, you know, had the proper lining and all that, man. And just, you know, just, <laughs> I'm not asking my knockers to do this, man. My knockers is just popping off, man. And they they see the familiar, you know, vision of building together, you know, if anything, for nothing else but to do it because we can do it. And to inspire a nation to do the same, to buy land and tribe up the same way and tribe up with us, you know what I'm saying? KTC, you know how we do. Put our power first. We never lose. Most high over everything. Aha, my naga, five eyes. Ma, man. Making it happen out here, man. <laughs> Putting screws into the into the fence posts, you know what I'm saying? Into the rails, man. Digging these, you know, deep holes, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that these poles can go through and be, you know, poles that last a long time. Managa Clay, Coach Clay, taking the wheel, man. NVN, man. <laughs> we call him NVN, most valuable Naga. Because <laughs> my Naga got so many great solutions and so much energy for building. You know what I'm saying? We just let him take the wheel. Hey, our brother nature. You already know, man. Brother nature, make sure <laughs> Nagas is popping off, man. You know, always brings incredible structure and flow to the Shabbata. And we need my brother brother nature man um, <laughs> we were popping off with some great hole digging mechanisms man love to the bro brother nature man and uh we got them holes dug man we got lots of holes dug and that's really the the key you know what i mean is establishing your foundation you know what i'm saying so we're taking our time as long as we got started we popping off Ak hezekiah you already know my Ak hezekiah the fire starter. He keeps the fire going. <laughs> he is the fire. Um, you know, literally jumps in to do anything and everything to make sure we going smooth and the, the water is flowing, man. So the water ock has a kite, man, for, you know, just being a real cold keeper, man, showing up, you know what I'm saying, building up, building in real time, man. I, that's just a few, man, just cons that, you know, put boots to the ground already, and I know so many more want to. Y'all been hitting me up, like, drop, how do I get boots to the ground? And be patient with me. I ask that you continue to email me, not just once, but make sure, you know what I'm saying, I don't slip up, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure I got your help. And all my contributors, you already know, man, making sure that we ex exceeded our goal of $10,000, man. We have exceeded our goal. Please continue to fund the GoFundMe because we know that building a cedar wood fence, you know, over an acre of land and, you know, just <laughs> everything that goes into that from the ceilings and the paints. And I know we're going to need a lot for the paints. So, Managa, <laughs> please continue to fund the fence and whatever we don't need for that. We will go into the next project and you can help us with that because we're building for the Naga's KTC MHOE. So we can have that mem sauce dripping in that mem sauce. Hey, hop yourself the real. You already know you there. You already know you there, my nigga. And all y'all are there, man. And we here. Hey, man, this Tanakh only.
sessions. KTC, you know how we do. Amen. Put our power first. Man, we never lose, man. Hey, hi, my noggis for making a dream come true. And now that we began building, you know, first it's acquiring the land we need, you know, at the right time with the right noggins, you know. And now it's about building the land at the right time with the right noggins. And it, it gets no better than this. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Wow, man. Exodus chapter 23. Shabbat Shalom. Dawada. Code Keepers. Drop Nation. <laughs> We're building a fence for Joy World. And the beauty, the beautiful thing is, a lot of Nagas never built anything like this. You know what I'm saying? we from the cities, man, including myself. So, you know what I'm saying? We got experts on deck to make sure we're doing it right. You know, um, I'm, I'm falling back and just enjoying, you know what I'm saying, just the flow of Nagas coming together, man. And, you know, it gives us something to really be proud of and to continue to, you know, check back in. And, you know, our children will have this, you know. Our droplets will enjoy this, man. And wait till we raise, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and wait till we raise the funds, my Naga, to build a beautiful playground and treehouse and all that going down for the droplets, like, that's what I mean, project to project. We tap into that well, we get our well going, making sure we flowing with that, our shelters up, Managa, you know, get our septic flowing, our solar panels. You know, you gonna be here with us, Managa. So we're gonna build together and at the right time, at the right flow. We all gonna be there. We all gonna connect. Nagaville, all across the plane, we gonna connect. There's no doubt about it. The code keepers are here again. And we hear the same sound. Let's get it right here. Exodus 23, chapter or verse 1, right from the top. Thou shalt not utter a false report. Put not your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shall you bear witness in a cause to turn aside after a multitude to pervert justice. Neither shall you favor a poor man in his cause. For thou Meet thine enemy's ox or his donkey going astray. Thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. And if you see his donkey of him that hates you lying under his burden, thou shalt forbear to pass by him. Thou shalt surely release it with him. Thou shalt not rest the judgment of your poor in his cause. Keep you far from a false matter. I mean, how many times you got to hear it? <laughs> you got to be hijacked free. You got to dodge your own hijack. Keep far from a false matter. And the innocent and righteous slay thou not. For I would not justify the wicked. So when people say, oh, man, well, Hawa, you know, he, uh, you know, was uh, rolling up on. Uh, you know, these nations, you know, uh, slaughtering men, women, and children. Hawaii's letting you know that they weren't innocent. 
Because the innocent slay thou not. The righteous slay thou not. <laughs> but if you're over here out of code, out of order, bearing false witness, killing, stealing, putting the power before the creator of the earth, way out of code, my nigga, you don't deserve one breath, man. <laughs> you don't deserve one breath if you can't take a secure breath without having vanity. You don't deserve one breath if you can't stop slaying your brother. You, can, you don't deserve one breath if you can't honor your Ama Abba. What breath do you deserve when you covet everything of your brothers and sisters? What breath do you deserve when you're bearing false witness, trying to jam your nagas up? Which many times leads to death or injury when people bear false witness, man. But what life do you deserve? What, what breath do you deserve? The cold is for life. You keep the cold, you're choosing life. You're out of cold. What do you mean, your land? You're not guaranteed no land out of cold, man. <laughs> nah, it don't work like that. Maybe you got a grace period. Maybe you got a grace period. But you don't deserve no land out of cold, man. Keep far from a false matter. And the innocent and righteous slay you not. For I will not justify the wicked, and thou shalt take no gift. For a gift blinds them that have sight, and perverts the words of the righteous. A stranger shalt thou not oppress, for you know the heart of a stranger, seeing you were strangers in the land of Egypt. In six years thou shalt sow the land, and gather in the increase thereof. Six years. I mean, this is very important as we popping off Nagaville across the plain. My Naga's getting their land up. They're working together. They buying land for them, for themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? For, for your your family to tribe up, man. To keep the cold on your plot of land, and you know, tribe up with Nagaville all across the plain. Six years shall you sow your land and gather in the increase thereof. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest and lie follow, that the poor of your people may eat, and what they leave the beast of the field shall eat. In like manner thou shalt deal with the vineyard and with the olive yard, vine yard and olive yard. Six days shall thou shalt do your work, but on the seventh day shall you rest. Shabbat shalom, Anak. We just popping off, man. Another checkpoint. Just had a great tribe up, a great Shabbat with the home team after hitting a checkpoint of checkpoints, man. To get these materials, to get all this stuff in motion, my naga, this is miraculous, man. Nagas are driving across country, man, from Virginia, New Mexico. <laughs> Nagas are, you know, flying across country from Tote, Texas, all over Tote, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Driving up from Cali, you know, all over the place, man. So, I mean... <laughs> Hey, Nagas is coming out from Seattle, you know what I'm saying? Like, all over the place. Nagaville's popping. And how important is it as we tribe up to see clearly that this checkpoint right here is something that is repetitive and observable, man. Six days shall you do your work, but on the seventh day you shall rest. Thine ox, your donkey may have rest. Everything got to rest. Son of your handmaid. <laughs> and the stranger. You got a stranger with you? 
may be refreshed. What? But on the seventh day you shall rest, that all of y'all, even the strangers, shall be refreshed? I mean, people are going to do what they want to do. <laughs> you can't make nobody rest, man. But it sure is repeated, whether we're talking Exodus 20, whether we're talking Exodus 23. Right now we're in verse uh, verse 11, but the seventh year, so we're back to the land, man. Like, you know, hey, we don't make up the rules. We just are reading how, the, how it goes down to be in code and be protected by the creator, man. This ain't no play play. You want to do your own thing, do your own thing. You want to travel with the real ones, then you're going to have to listen. You're going to have to learn. Because these real ones been popping off. And they got you here. They got you here, man. All oh, praise for why. So you're going to have to, you know, choose up, man. Six days shall you sow your land. The seventh land you let it rest. That the poor of your people may eat. So, you know, in context, you know, at that point, you know, um, you know, everyone's popping off, eating good. But, you know, you still had poor, you know, that weren't, you know, that didn't have all these, you know, lands and all this stuff. So all that stuff that you would normally cultivate and harvest. Let's say you had these huge farms and you just feed in Nagaville, you know. Well, you know, I mean, within that. Or, you know what I'm saying, anyone who's, you know, rocking in cold or whatever. The poor, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's, it's time for them to grow up. <laughs> Every seventh year, you know, they're going to be feasting because you ain't going to be, you know, harvesting all that. You know what I'm saying? And the beasts of the field, they're going to be feasting. <laughs> in like manner, thou shalt deal with your vineyard or vineyard and with the olive garden or olive yard So. This is actually a real good one, man, because we've been talking about it, you know, even, you know, on in, in Joy World, you know what I'm saying? How the seventh year, you know, we let the land rest. Now, of course, you know, unless you got unless you got land just in the open, <laughs> you don't have any random beasts of the field coming through, you know, eating <laughs> everything falling off your apple tree or whatever the case is, you know, but, um, you know, we... We try to find real constructive ways, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, make it rock, you know what I'm saying, without, you know, everything you know, just rotting, <laughs> falling down and rotting all over the place. You know, you want to, you want it to be, you know, fluid, you know, just like this, you know, uh, whether it's giving to the poor, you know what I mean, instead of you, you know, uh, harvesting for yourself, you know what I mean, whatever you're growing, you're giving to the poor every seven years or you know what I mean? You, you're feeding the animals with it, <laughs> the beasts of the field. In like manner, thou shalt deal with your vineyard and with your olive yard. Now it gets to the Shabbat. Six days shall you do work, seven days shall you rest, everybody in your house, even your stranger. And in all things that I have said unto you, take heed and make no mention of the name of other gods, man. Managa, this is the issue when we talk about cities underwater. What do they have in common? Most of them had these churches, 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 churches. And even though some of these churches were fronts or cover-ups, you know, for other things, you know, mainly they were, you know, on that, uh, on that Zeus, on that E-Zeus business, man. So, you know, there's a reason that this Protection, man, wasn't, you know, allowed. There's a reason for it. Hawa can't, Hawa can't take you out of punishment if you're still doing the same thing wrong. Whether you talk to these churches today or whether you're talking to them back then, other gods, other than the creator, Exodus 23 verse 12 says make no mention of the name of other gods and neither let it be heard out of your mouth three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year 
the feast of unleavened bread shall thou keep seven days shall you eat the unleavened bread you know that's that yeast free flow you know get that acidic flow out of you get that alkaline flow i call it alkaline week <laughs> and that the time appointed in the month of Abib, for in it thou came out of Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. In the feast of harvest, the first fruits of your labors, which thou sowed in the field, and the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, when thou gather in the labors out of the field, three times in the year all your males shall appear before a while. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, neither shall the fat of my feast remain all night until the morning. The choicest first fruits of your land shall thou bring into the house of Hawa. Thou shalt not seat a kid in its mother's milk. I'm talking about that goat man. Behold, I said an angel to come before you to keep you by the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Take heed of him. Take heed of this dragon <laughs> and hearken unto his voice. Be not rebellious against him for he will not pardon your transgression. Oh boy. <laughs> this dragon gonna hurt you man if you uh, <laughs> are rebellious against him. I mean you know. For he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. If a wise name is in him, then what's his name? But if thou shalt indeed hearken unto his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto your enemies and an adversary unto your adversaries. For my dracon shall go before you says my angel right but you can't picture no man with wings <laughs> do you picture a man with wings going before you my noggin or are you talking about a fire breathing drag I think we're talking about fire-breathing dragons, you know what I'm saying? You know, just like, you know, the cloud by day, fire by night, pillar of fire by night. We're talking following a cloud by day, pillar of fire by night, or are you following a dragon? Because the etymology of a cloud is just anything that's translucent, you know, uh, or anything that's covering you from above, you know, it's not just what you think of today as a fluffy white cloud. A cloud was anything covering you, my naga, <laughs> from above, my naga. Following a cloud by day, what is covering you? And now this angel is doing what in Exodus 23? 23, for my angel shall go before you and bring you into the Amorite and the Hittite and the Perizzite and the Canaanite and the Hivite and the Jebusite and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods nor serve them nor do after their doings but thou shalt utterly overthrow them and break in pieces their pillars and you shall serve a wah, a wah. Utterly overthrow them, Managa, means that you are the head and not the tail, right? <laughs> if the dragon is going before you unto this Amorite, Hittite, Perizzite, Canaanite, Hivite, Jebusite, all of them, all the confederacy. Hawaii saying, I will cut them off. I will cut them off. Just don't bow down to their gods. That's it. Just don't serve their powers, man. 
Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Come on, man. Thanksgiving, you're serving their powers, man. Who's giving thanks and for what, man? Sam Hayim, All Souls Day, man, for what, man? Dodge the hijack, dodge all the, all the peer pressure, man, and be a leader, and they will follow you. To knock only such. Yeah, we're talking about a fire-breathing dragon going before the children of Israel, man. Hawass says, I will cut them off. And thou shalt not bow down to their powers, nor serve them, nor do after their doings. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them. Yeah, that's not you being equal to them. You overthrow them and break in pieces their pillars. And you shall serve Hawass. And he will baruch your bread. You want to break bread with the Khan? He will baruch your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. You got some sickness you're dealing with, my naga? What did Hawa say? He says... <laughs> Behold, I send a dragon before you <laughs> to keep you by the way. We're talking to Exodus. Khan, we're talking to Exodus. Hawa sends a dragon before you to keep you by the way and to bring you into the place Hawa has prepared. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Just don't bow down to their powers, man, nor serve them, nor do after their doings. That's the only deal. And what do you get in return? A while takes sickness away from you. None shall be, none shall miscarry, nor be barren in your land. That's why you got to have your boundaries, man. Even if it's an acre, half acre, quarter acre, that's your land. You keep the cold, you seal that land. Just like Jeremiah. What's that, Jeremiah 23? Go get that. You got to seal the land. Allow Hawa. And you shall serve Hawa, verse 25. And he will baruch your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. None shall miscarry nor be burdened or barren in your land. In the number of your days I will fulfill. I will send my terror before you. <laughs> Who's that, the angel? Or we're just talking about that dragon again. Verse 27, I was sent by, send my terror before you and will discomfort all people to whom thou shalt come. Now, what's going to discomfort a group of people other than a fire breathing dragon, man? What, a, a man with wings flying around? Come on, man. You know they're scared to death of these dragons. <laughs> Burning down these castles, they got to be dragon slayers, King George and this, the dragon slayer. They're scared to death of you, Drakan. So Hawa says, I'm, I'm going to send my terror, because <laughs> that's what they're meant to be for the hijack. And will discomfort all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all your enemies turn their backs unto you. They're going to run from you because you keep the cold. You don't worship none of their powers no more. Verse 28, and I will send the hornet before you, which shall drive out the Hivite. Now, what's the hornet? <laughs> what's the hornet? Let's go. 
the Canaanite and the Hittite be from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field multiply against you. But little by little, I will drive them out from before you. A oh, while I got a plan. He said, if I knock them all out, all that land going to be desolate and it's going to be covered with beasts. So let me take them out little by little, right? Little and little, I will drive them out from before you until you be increased and, in, and inherit the land, my nugget. This is about the land, man. But it's about really listening, right? Listening to your frame and your shaper. Ama, Aba, Hawa, the cold, the Torah. Listen to the sound, the frequency, the vibration. That's what this is about. And what comes, what comes with being KTC, MHOE. That mem sauce, right? You get that land, you get that water, you get that water. Allah wa. You got that water. Drop Nation got that water. Man, I'm going to send that dragon, man, before you, which shall drive out the Hivite, Canaanite, Hittite. From before you, I would not drive them out all at once. <laughs> Can't drive them out in one year because the land's going to be desolate. Beasts of the field are going to multiply against you. By little and little, I will drive them out from before you until you be increased and inherit the land. And I will set my border from the Red Sea into even the Sea of Philistines and from the wilderness unto the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand and thou shalt drive them out. Before you, thou shalt not make no covenant with them. Uh oh. Hijack, you gotta go. We don't make no deals. Nor with their gods. Back to that again, man. So you violating rule number one if you're putting any power before your power. And ain't that Hawaii had beef with these other nations for no reason? It was their false idols, man. The false idols, man. It's ridiculous. There's no reason for this. You have a power, a source. But you're so stubborn, our people. We're so stubborn. Young and old, man. Think you could do it your way, huh? You think you could do it your way, huh? Ain't that right, my nag? Nah, that ain't right. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Just like any computer system, you have a coding, a code. That DNA code is coded in frequency. Hawaii's code brings you into a frequency to unlock your dormant DNA and pop off my naga <laughs> for joy work. Four, three, two, we the freak show. <laughs> KTC, that mean keep the code. For Nagaville. Yeah. I will drive out. All these hijacks, I will drive them out from before you until you be increased and inherit your land. <laughs> Man. I will deliver all these hijacks into your hand and you shall drive them out 
before you, my naga. But just do me one good square right here, man. Just do me one square one, man. Don't make no deals with these hijacks. I'll take care of them, you KTC. But don't make no deals because they're going to be crafty. They're going to pull you to the side and try to make a deal with you. They're going to be real crafty. We don't make no deals with no hijacks, man. We don't make no deals with that frequency. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their powers. They shall not dwell in your land. Lest they make you sin against me. For thou wilt serve their powers. For they will be a snare unto you. Think about it, my Naga. They will be a snare unto you. They will make you serve their powers, man. This is the big deal. <laughs> this is the big, big deal, man. This is the big deal that got you here. This is the big deal that let down your guard, your fortitude, your energy. And I'm speaking to you because I believe all of us, you know, we, we've been here, you know, we've been here, man. So a lot of us, you know, we're, we're there. We, we, we don't remember, but we're starting to be aware. We were there, my nugget. We were there. And we can't point the finger at no one but ourselves, man. Because we made a covenant with them. We let them rock. They're not supposed to dwell on the land. We let them dwell on the land. We made a covenant with them. We let them rot. And they became a thorn in your side. They will be a snare unto you. You will serve their powers, man. And it's exactly what went down. And it's exactly why we coming back up with humility. Because as powerful as we think we are, we weren't powerful enough to dodge the snare and see clear. But now we're here in Tanakh only sessions. The Contra. Allow. Hey, for the Ahab, for the Cold Keepers, for Joy World. Shabbat Shalom, Dawa Da, to my Shabbat. Hey. Keep surfing the wave. And make sure you choose up time and time again, my nugget. Because choosing up is not a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Shabbat shalom to the cons, the water to the cold keepers. <laughs> <laughs>